Hello everyone and welcome back to Baru Plays, The Binding of Isaac Rebirth, continuing our road to becoming a Platinum God. And today, we're gonna do, we're gonna attempt, we're gonna make a solid attempt to try and, well, break the game. We haven't really done too many D6 runs. And well, I wanna try and, I wanna try and break it if we can. In order to get well, a lot of unlocks that we are going to need. And we starting off with a small Tinnadrock right there. And Spider Baby. Alright, well. I'll at least be able to use that a little bit here. Let's see if I can't expose that fire. Eh, couldn't really do it. I'll see if I can't find a small fire here. Oh, hey. Another, uh, another little Tinnadrock for me. All right, well, we'll go ahead and place a bomb right there. Now, there's a couple of items that we are going to need for this breaking run. The most important one that we need to find is the sharp plug, which can show up in our shop. Uh, we don't exactly, though, have a, you know, a guarantee of actually finding that item, however. However, if, if we can find it, if we can find it, we're going to definitely have a good time. As that will allow me to re-roll my chest over and over again. And if I can combine that with, say, a blank card and a Jarrah rune, then we can theoretically get every single item in the game. And, well, this will be a rather long video. But, hey, we will have gotten quite a few unlocks. Or nothing will fall into place and I don't get anything at all, which can also happen. But we'll, we'll see what we end up doing here. Now, I'm kind of saving my D6 because I want to kind of throw it into... I'd rather throw it into my bosses rather than throwing it into... Um, rather than throwing it into my item room. There's so many I things in that item room that could potentially just not work out for me. So, yeah. And as soon as we can find a bomb, we're definitely going to go after that key over there. Now, the reason I'm not picking up those soul hearts is because I actually am going to attempt to try and tank my health on the next uh, on the next fire that I see. If I can find, like, an exposed fire or something like that. I'm going to tank my health so I can kind of spawn a bunch of these little spiders from the spider baby. It doesn't seem to... We're going to be... It doesn't look like we're finding too much here. Oh, and the seed. My bad. Q-T-X-L-J-L-L-S. I've been doing the loss that I just completely forgot about actually showing people uh, the seed. I'm just so used to just being like, all right, well, we're going to die. That's it. That's all there really is to it. But thankfully, that's not happening. And we do want to get at least five cents on the next floor as we are going to need to be getting uh, 15 cents so we can actually afford the sharp plug. So we will be trying to break those poops there and maybe we can get something. Doesn't seem to be getting us uh, too many things here in terms of resources. I thought about doing some more modes on easy. I've thought about potentially doing that, but I don't know. We'll see. All right, so there's a bomb. We're gonna back. We've already hit a bunch of Tinnadrock, so we're actually gonna backtrack for that gray chest that we saw. So let's do that. Let's go ahead and backtrack for this. We'll place a bomb here. Let's see what we get. We got another key, and we have five cents for the next floor, which is nice. And now, before I actually pick up, all right. There we go. Before I pick up the soul hearts, we're gonna use this rainbow poop. And continue spawning a couple more spiders for us. This is one way that we can kind of abuse using the spider baby. There we go. And now let's pick up those soul hearts. Two soul hearts is more than enough for me with this army of spiders that we've got going on here. So now let's go fight our boss. We do have a battery if we want to reroll again, but that's not necessarily needed. So, yeah. And eventually we will have to go on a breaking run in order to try and find the godhead, which is going to be... Extra fun to try and get. Alright, well, we got... Managed to get a little bit of uh, damage into him. 
almost half his health gone it's not too bad honestly the hardest item that's going to be to find in this entire run is not even going to be the godhead it's going to be steven and that's going to be a whole lot I, I, there's really no easy way to do that episode steven's a very rare item and you can't even really force him you can take upwards of hours to try and find him now the belt i don't really want and experimental treatment can be extremely risky it looks like our lowered it lowered our damage increased our tier rate and gave us another heart that we can potentially gamble with so hey i'll take it i'll take it let's move on now here we're going to try and get 15 cents and start throwing our rolls not into our our devil deal but rather we're going to try and throw them into we're going to try and throwing them into our shop at this point yeah our damage definitely definitely took a small hit that ooh, actually that's a little bit more than a small hit that's that's kind of all of our damage that we're, we're rocking one damage now all right well that experimental treatment did not go in the way that i wanted it to but hey that's experimental treatment for you it really doesn't do anything and i've been kind of going through all the feedback of um some some of the videos and you all have kind of suggested that i start doing some heavy editing for the videos and i kind of wanted to talk on that for a little bit I've noticed like the, a lot of the videos that I put up really don't have that much in the in the way of I guess kind of editing and it's never really felt like that's I guess my style or how exactly I want to do things which is why I've never really considered that an option I know you know the idea of just editing out a whole bunch of deaths you know going through all the bad items that I end up getting could be appealing to some and there definitely are channels that can you know provide you with that kind of content but i don't know that's just not to me how i want to really do things instead i kind of like just the the raw content although i would like to do a little bit more editing probably when i find a little bit extra time here uh now we've got a double key room i don't know whether or not we actually want to go into that though i don't really have too many keys at least not right now well, with three keys, that eh, with three keys, I can I can justify it. And we got a whole bunch of batteries and some cash, so we could throw those into the item room. But instead, what we're gonna do is we are gonna find our shop, and we are gonna throw a whole bunch of rerolls into our shop. That is what we're gonna try and do. If there's two items in there, which I don't think there actually can be. I think about it no no there can't be all right well that sucks that is unfortunate hmm well how do we want to handle this how do we want to handle this my chances of finding a sharp plug are going to be rather slim in its current state. But I do have quite a few batteries, and I have a bunch of different places that I can throw those rerolls. Hmm. I think we'll see what our devil deal holds, and if I can maybe get a triple devil deal, then maybe we can make that work. And I just realized we have five cents when we entered this floor, and we did not get any kind of arcade, so that's a little unfortunate, but... Not that big a deal since we really didn't find any red hearts. I'm still rocking half a red heart and two soul hearts right now, so. Just for the sake of finishing a run, I think we might have to throw it into our devil deal here. More than likely, we're going to have to throw it into our devil deal. I don't, I don't really... See, yeah. That... that Experimental treatment kind of... Kind of ruined things for me. Alright, well, let's see what we get here. Let's see what our items are a magic mushroom we definitely can't say no to that but i'm gonna hold off and see what we get from krampus first just in case i get a judas shadow i can actually proc it now if i see a judas shadow i can just jump right on it so we're gonna throw a reroll into our devil deal for sure and it's gonna be a hell of a time trying to take this guy out and hey we've got 15 cents now so that's nice. 
All right, Krampus, I need you to slow down a bit. And I don't think we're going to take anything that he drops for me. The head's def obviously a reroll. The coal, I'd like it, but there's better items. There are better items in this pool. Ooh, that's a heart and a half. There we go. All right, let's go. Oh, the goat head. Perfect. All right, that is very ideal for us. So we're going to go ahead and grab magic mushroom. And now I feel like we kind of have to throw all of our rolls into that shop. Let's throw at least two of them into the shop. And then maybe the third one we'll throw into the item room. Slot machine. All right. Looking for a sharp plug. With a sharp plug and a goat head. Uh, a map. Tempting, but no, not really necessary. I think we'll throw the last one into... Yeah, I think we're just going to throw the last one into our item room and hopefully find something better than, you know, big fan. Blood rights. Well, isn't that just... Isn't that just amazing? All right. All right, fine. If that's, how, if that's the way you want it, very well then. You know, I actually ha don't really have that much of an idea of, like, what exactly I have for items that I need to actually touch. All right, well, let's head on to the next floor. Maybe we can find a... Maybe we can check the rest of our shops and keep trying to find uh, that sharp plug there. Now, we don't have to bomb any beggars this time because we are guaranteed to actually find uh, our Devil Deal or Angel Room. We are not locked into our Devil Deal because we did get Krampus. So there is that. And our item room. And hey, look at that. There's our shop. We're not going to really worry about bombing mushrooms either since we do have magic mush. Oh, soul heart for me. Not bad. I would like to get into my shop just so I can start throwing rolls into it now. And what the sharp plug will end up doing for us, and the reason that I want it so badly, is that it will... Uh, basically, it'll make it so that way we can re-roll infinitely. And there's a couple of items that will help me do that. I'm definitely going to want that soul heart for sure. Um, one item would be cancer. The actual item, not the not the trinket, the one that increases your tier rate, but rather cancer, the one that gives you uh, some health, as well as making it so when you take damage... You actually take half a heart of damage for the rest of that room. Uh, can I find a single key? Please. Just show me a key. Just show me a key. Justice. All right. That's nice. That's going to give us a key that we can open up our shop with. And we'll go ahead and open up this big room here. See what we have inside. Get our last charge. Go into our shop, and I guess we'll, I guess we'll immediately throw the reroll into the shop, looking for the sharp plug. And maybe maybe we'll find something else. Who knows? We kind of already given up hive mind, but the thing about the shop is that you can actually find the same item multiple times, so that can be mildly frustrating. And a Bible tract. I think that one helps us find eternal hearts, so wouldn't be too bad. All right, what do we got in here? A battery. Oh, but there's two items. I can't really say no to the battery. And humbling bundle would be very nice. As that would make it... You know what? I lied. I'm actually going to bomb a few of them here. What do we got? Paralysis and a 48-hour energy? No, a puberty pill. All right, well, I will take the liberty cap. All right, so the reason I want the battery is it'll make... It'll make it so I waste less charges. And by that, it, I mean... Uh, by wasting less charges, I'll be able... If, if I have six charges, I can overcharge it. And, you know, I, I don't like just be like, Oh, I have six charges. I need to get through this room. They just get wasted. It's more efficient that way. It's really hard to give up. Hmm... What do I grab here? I think I checked the library. All right. Book of Secrets. No secret room there. They just gave us a compass effect. Book of Belial. Book of Sin. 
The devil. All right, well, that's not too bad. You know, one thing that we could actually do, now that I think about it, we could break our, we could break our library. We could potentially break our library and get a whole bunch of those books out of there. So that wouldn't be too bad. And I'm making sure that I'm actually touching all these items here. Because I don't know which ones I have and have not touched. Now, the, uh, unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to be able to get another charge to actually hit up my library unless I find a couple of batteries. We'll see here. We will see here as to what exactly we end up getting. Yeah, our damage is not looking too good right now. I don't really know what we would want to really counter that problem that we're having right now. Tears down was not the pill I was looking for. Why do I open these pills? Why do I open them? They don't have anything in them. They just got sadness and disappointment waiting in every single one. It's like those little boxes of cereal that say prize inside and that prize is just nothing. It's a little piece of plastic that breaks in two seconds and then you're sad and disappointed and then you hate the, and then you hate the cereal. You used to love that cereal. Then you got a bad prize in it. Although then sometimes you get those at Dakota rings and those are awesome for like 60 seconds. Okay, we could open up a gray chest, or not a gray chest, a, uh, I could open up one of the golden chests. Let's go ahead and pop the, the devil book here, so that way we can actually do a little bit of damage. This chub is not going to go down without a little bit of a fight here. Uh, okay. Come on, buddy. All right. Thank you for some actual tier rate. I appreciate it. Okay. Well, I think I'm going to have to throw my roll into my devil deal this time. I think we're going to go buy the battery. Well, let's see if we can't find a 48 hour energy pill. That would be ideal. Paralysis again. I know it's asking for a lot to get a 48 hour energy, but I'm going to at least try. Luck down. Not so good. All right. Because I don't, I don't want Gimpy, and I don't want. Uh... Yeah. Yeah, Gimpy and Dark Bum are just not that useful for me, unfortunately. Also, I had a really big head there for a second. That was interesting. So we're gonna reroll our Devil Deal. Hopefully, we can find something of value. If not, then we can maybe... Wow, my head is gigantic. Holy God. All right. Let's see what we have here. Guppy's paw. Oh, that's an interesting item. Hmm. If I could find one more battery. If I could just find one more battery. You know what? we will just go ahead and take Brother Bobby with us too. Why not? Hmm. All right. Well... Let's go ahead and head on to the next floor. Let's go ahead and head on to the next one. Let's jump straight into our room here. Nothing in there. Hey, I can actually one-shot flies. Isn't that nice? Isn't that nice? And a couple of keys. So that way I can actually check my shop. Our shop is on the way. From what I can see here. So we're in the right... We're in the right... We're in the right path. So that's good. Or maybe not. Never mind. I lied to you all. Alright. Uh, grab this money here. We're going in and out of the spikes. Ow. A little bit of damage to us. Is there a soul heart in here? No, but there's a bunch of skulls. Alright, well. Let's go ahead and head to the left then. Looks like that's where we're going. And I'm definitely just going to jump straight into that cursed room. Because I am greedy. And you all know that. You know, I probably should have just left the... Uh, thinking about it now, I probably should have just left the red hearts. Like, I didn't really need to paw away all of my all of my health. 
into like temporary health instead of permanent health. Oh well. You gonna open up? Hello? There we go. But I definitely did want to at least pick up the paw. What would have been nice is if I could have actually found uh, another battery or had another charge so I could hit that one more time and reroll the paw into some sort of free item. And this is where the... This is where the extra charges are going to start to come in handy here. Is that even though I haven't reached my shop or my boss room, I can still just kind of keep plugging away at these guys. And not waste those charges. Uh, let's see what we have. Alright, well there's a little bit of cash for me so I can check my shop and actually buy an item. Not too bad. Here's hoping that there's actually a uh, battery in there. And one thing I need to make sure I don't actually buy is the 9 volt, as that will actually ruin uh, my ability to do what I want to do. Because that will make it so that the the item that, that we're trying to get right now, which is the sharp plug, uh, actually becomes useless. All right. Let's see what we have here. Oh, greed. You're not going to get me any kind of sharp plug here. That's unfortunate. I guess I'm just going to jump straight into my boss and I'll have two items or two rolls to throw into my devil deal. And if I have a three deal devil deal, I might be able to make something real nice in there. Oh, well. At least I'll be making some sort of progress towards our unlocks because I can at least donate all the excess cash that we are going to end up having here. All right. Well, let's go ahead and fight Gertie. Not really too much damage, unfortunately. Let's try and take that out, a little champion. This is going to be a little bit of an adventure for a, a boss fight. It's going to take a minute or two. Oh, man. When you got to hug the left side, that's when you know you're... Having, having some damage issues. But one Devil Deal can definitely turn that around. If we actually make the cat, if we can manage to force it into our game, uh, and our damage will pretty much more or less be tripled. I don't think we'll have to worry about that too much. All right. Well, the Halo is definitely nice. So I'm going to go ahead and take that. A uh, little Brimstone. I think I will pass. And Whore of Babylon. Um, no. Well, a knife. I don't know if I would take that. I, I really don't like the knife, but I think for the sake of this, I'm just going to go ahead and take it just because I know it's going to be, well, an easy, an easy item. It's easy to use. It's got a lot of damage behind it. A teleporter remote. No, thank you. Uh, but yeah, it's got a lot of potential behind it in terms of just straight damage, but it's, it's just not like a, it's not an aesthetically pleasing item. It doesn't get crazy, doesn't do anything ridiculous. Sure, if you get it with brimstone, it'll kind of do something, but other than that, it's just like poke, damage, poke, damage, poke, damage. And that's, that's just not for me. But I am still happy with that, with that reroll. It definitely did pay off for us. Right. Now, one thing that I am curious about is how exactly I want to handle uh, potentially trying to get these breaking runs going. Because really, they're they're only doable as Isaac, unless I somehow luck into all the items I need and the D6 while playing as a different character. So I don't know. We'll see here. Maybe I can. Maybe I'll get lucky and be able to get one kind of going here. Uh, relatively quickly within a few episodes I would say you drop me a nice little battery no okay that's fine that's fair and yeah I'm, I'm still kind of regretting dropping all of that all of that health because now 
now that I've actually picked up the knife, Guppy is kind of useless to me because it doesn't really spawn too many flies. And the flies that it will spawn, they don't really get increased with knife damage, which is unfortunate. Think about it now, though. I kind of wish I could get the uh, cards against humanity with the knife. That would break them up real fast. All right. Ooh, little champion there. And we're going to probably just go ahead and jump right into the curse room. I do have a charge. Ooh, the pact. Um... There's a lot of things I could re-roll that into, but I think we're just going to go ahead and take the pack. It's a tiny bit of damage, um, as well as a little bit of health as well. So we do get a soul heart back for picking that up. So I'll, I'll, I'll go ahead and take that. All right. Nothing over there. Haven't found our shop, which we kind of desperately need to find right now. Thinking about it now, I actually, because I have the Liberty Cap, I could do the Liberty Wiggle where we go in and out of a room trying to find a specific area of the map that we want to go to before clearing any rooms. That would be more effective, but that's just boring to me. Eventually, though, we're going to have to be... We're going to have to play it effectively. Unless we want this series to be 8,000 episodes. All right, well, let's see what we have in our item room here. That's more or less useless. All right. Let's see what we have in here. Ah, a compass. I guess I'll buy it because I don't want to really throw it into anything else. We'll keep five cents. We'll donate a little bit there. Um, yeah, that's pretty much going to be... That's pretty much going to be everything on this floor. We kind of cleared out. We kind of cleared out everything there. All right, and I'll only have one reroll for my boss. Ow. And unfortunately, I'm going to get a useless boss item to go along with the useless uh, item room. Oh, three red chests. You shouldn't have. Paralysis and mystery pill. What do we have? Bombs are key. There we go. Pentagram. It's a little bit more damage. We'll definitely take that. No reason even picking up the other item as it's just going to kind of ruin synergies later on. All right. So we do have a... Ooh, we do have a battery. So we'll definitely hold on to that. Right. But we do have an arcade, so we can kind of play that out. The chariot. Companionship rune. All right. I'll try and play this out a little bit. Um, hmm. I don't, I'm not entirely sure how exactly I want to play that out just yet. I don't know if I want to go into... You know, if I could actually find a teleport out, I could play those temperance machines. I could play those temperance machines and re-roll whatever it is they give me. Because that would actually be relatively easy uh, with a... with a Polaroid proc. So I think that's going to be our plan here. We're going to try and find a way out of our boss room. Yeah, we're going to try and find a way out of there. Uh, more options. And champion belt. All right. Well, I tried. <sighs> I did try, at the very least. And we have a whole bunch of health there. I guess we'll take that. That's that's saying that's even going to give me a way out of my uh, out of out of my teleport here. Doesn't look like it's going to. We're going to have to, I guess, bomb every single skull that we end up seeing. And a small rock apparently was up there. I didn't even see the tinted rock. I was just going after the skull. Neat. All right. Well, now I've got even more damage, and I'm probably going to just donate all of this because I really don't need the champion belt. So 
so we're still making progress towards our unlocks we're still getting donations in just not exactly where i wanted them to go not exactly what i wanted to do with the money this time around but hey we at least tried all right well we're gonna bomb that and that doubt we're gonna get any kind of card doesn't look like it let's clear the rest of our room here let's get a let's get a couple more charges here and the reason i want to play all uh get out of my room is because i want to get the temperance i want to play out those temperance machines play out that beggar that way i could have potentially like five different items that i could re-roll that would be really nice to try and uh try and break but that doesn't look like that's going to be what's happening instead it looks like it's just kind of be uh it's going to be kind of nothing unfortunately what is this puberty pill Ugh. Oh, we'll definitely i guess we'll try the challenge room i guess we'll try that one out mystery pill could be and i can see forever well at the very least it does show me my secret rooms and maybe there'll be something in there well nothing and we're gonna go ahead and i guess play this out a little bit here and ah, nothing we're gonna have to play out those regular gambling machines because i do need to find the dollar bill and hello room with a bunch of skulls in them that could potentially give me exactly what i'm looking for how are you doing today this this is what this is what Baru wanted a room full of skulls and maybe we can find a teleport a dry baby Let's see what we have here the fool there's our teleport and the devil all right hey very nicely done dry baby very nicely done okay so i've got two charges we're gonna go ahead and kill mom and grab the polaroid teleport out we're gonna kind of accidentally uh grab both the polaroid and the negative but i'll be able to grab my polaroid and maybe have a little bit of fun with it what's in here a little bit of health i'll take a little bit of health Come on. Hop on out. And three red chests, one of which is a little Kit Kat for us. And now we're one off from uh, the good old Guppy. All right, so let's go ahead and grab the Polaroid here. Now we'll head on back. Uh, yeah, we'll head on back into here and we'll just start playing these out. And hopefully we don't get uh hopefully we don't get like a random troll bomb that's gonna ruin all this okay so let's start playing out this side here maybe we can get a iv bag or a blood bag that we can re-roll mystery sack okay and we've kind of we already have that item so we don't need to we don't need to pick it up again Come on, break for me. Break for me. I actually don't know if it's worth it to do this. I almost have enough speed to make this worth. And it doesn't really matter if I end up dying at all. All right, so there's one item. So that's three potent that's three items we can reroll so far, potentially more. Let's see what we get here. See if we can't get it to break. It may not break because I'm gonna be leaving the room now. 
Oh, nope. There we go. All right. So let's re-roll. Got Bob's brain. Less than three. A shoop de whoop. I don't really need any of those items. Uh, let's see what this tarot card was. Oh, hey, it's a judgy. Well, then. How about we play that out and get ourselves yet another item that we can re-roll? I should have checked that first. Didn't even think about it. There we go. So let's get him to give us another item here. And he should hopefully pay out. The temperance machine paid out. There we go. Uh, puberty pill. We'll give him a couple of our keys. You want to give me anything there, buddy? One more? No? Okay, you can have a bomb. You can have a bomb, then. What's this? Let's reroll first. Lock up. Not any of the... I don't want any of those items in there. Hmm. Hey, there's Isaac's heart. Well, would you look at that? I'm half tempted to pick that up just for the sake of... Just for the fact that I need to... At some point, pick that up. Hmm. And was there... Was there a greed in my shop? I can't seem to remember if there was a greed in my shop. Or if there was anything even in there. No, it wasn't a greed. Alright, well... Let's go ahead and donate as much as we can here, which is next to nothing because, because my luck. All right, well, another I can see forever pill. Hmm. Do I take the Isaac's heart because I need the unlock? I think the answer is yes. I think the answer is I just kind of take everything that I see here. So we'll take all of it. Now, Isaac's Heart, I know, is not that great of an item. It doesn't really do that well and will more than likely lead to a death. But I need to pick it up at least one time. I have to touch it. So let's get it out of the way. You know, I can at least say, hey, I made some progress towards victory. I made a little bit of progress towards victory. I think I can actually stack. Eh, I can kind of put the, the dry baby in there. Eh. It's not very effective, but hey. All right, well, let's head on to the next floor. All right, so I can see forever. Uh, it's a Mises pill, not really that useful. I think we'll go ahead and see what exactly is in our devil deal before we even bother with farming up charges. Because if there's nothing to re-roll in here, there's no reason to, you know, prolong it. Oop. Accidentally touched that. I actually don't know how many lives I've got left. I think I've got three more. I believe I have three lives left if I had to take a guess here. Which is still more than enough, assuming we can actually make it anywhere decent oh that heart that heart is gonna definitely get me killed i think i've got two left now yeah the heart definitely will be the end of me no doubt in my mind that's gonna be the end of me paralysis lockdown hematomesis a whole bunch of just wonderful cards all right. All right, we're going to go ahead and pop this because I am going to get hit if I try and avoid these spiders. Well, then, a Judas Shadow uh, will be kind of nice. And, hey, I can actually pick it up. So I guess I'll just throw my reroll into range and pick up the Cannon 9. All right. Can't check my Cursed Room. So I think we're just going to go ahead and move on to the heart. And maybe we'll make it into the chest. Who knows? I'm just happy that I can at least pick up the Judas Shadow now. Well, we'll go ahead and play you out. And I will have to eventually play this thing out. 
Oh. Little, little baggy. Oh! You spawned a little fly on me. Well, that's rude. I guess I'll take your life. Another I can see forever pill. Anything in here? A wafer. There we go. Now this would have been absolutely perfect. This actually would have been the perfect run had I found the uh, had I found the, the the sharp plug. Had that popped up, that would have been it. So I guess I should have thrown it into that last shop that had two items. Let me know. Let me know. Like if you end up running the seed, was there a sharp plug? Or was there not? And it was just, you know, just whatever. Although it will actually be different because your shops may look different from mine, depending on how much of it uh, you've actually unlocked. If you have a fully unlocked item room or a shop, then yeah, it's going to look a little bit different. Hey, thanks there, buddy. Let's go ahead and try and play this out. Maybe we can get the $1 bill. Uh, get that unlock out of the way, but no such luck, so that's fine. Uh, left or right? There we go. Um, I don't really have anything right now, so... I was kind of hoping that was going to drop me a little heart there. Yep, knew that was going to probably happen. We're still on cat lives, though. Surprised. I, I kind of lost track with how many we had. Good to see that we're still on them. Oh, right. So, interesting, uh, interesting thing, by the way, uh, that I completely forgot about. In the mom heart fight, if you enter from the right side, um, you automatically take damage the moment you enter the room if you have Isaac's heart, and it's nearly unavoidable. But hey. At least I'm due to shadow now, right? And I do massive damage. Yeah, we do we do a slight bit of damage. Yeah, I think we got I think we got plenty of damage. If I can find like a soul heart or two, we'll be just fine. I don't need the swallowed penny. I don't need that. I'm sorry. Ah, uh, Isaac's heart! You're get Dry baby, it's already dead. It's already dead, Dry baby. He's trying to help. I, I see... Oh. Well, this might end up being a death here. At least I've gotten even more damage. If I end up going out, at least I can say, hey, I tried. Hey, I tried. All right, well, let's put a bomb there and hope for a soul heart. Please give me some kind of heart here. I need a soul heart. I really, really need one. Come on. You know you wanna. There you go. There you go. Now give me just a few more of those. Because I got nothing else to spend my cash on. And I want to at least make the run a victory. And, you know, win with the Isaac's heart. There we go. That'll be enough health to at least kill Isaac. No problems. Now this, this thing does not want to break at all. That's actually really nice for me. That luck down pill is really starting to take effect. It's kind of... Being in, being in that bad luck territory is not very good. But hey. At least we got two health out of it. I think I might take the ace of... The ace of spades here for a trinket. Oh, faith bead. It tried. 
It definitely tried. All right. Well, we got we got a little bit of health. I asked for one, and it gave me it gave me multiples there. Hey, we killed Isaac without even him doing anything. All right. Well, I kind of underestimated our damage just a little bit there. Curse of the unknown. All right. Well, we definitely don't want any of those items, so we're gonna wait until we have a re-roll and there because of the curse unknown I will need to remember how much health I have here all right what do we have nothing really too good yet nothing too fantastic I guess we'll go ahead and take Magneto no reason not to I guess it was kind of foolish of me to throw both my rerolls into that random head that I ended up finding, but hey, it's fine. Uh, spelunker hat. I don't know, at least tell me where my secret where my secret rooms are. And two of hearts. Not really needed. Temperance machine doesn't really do anything. Doesn't do me any good here. I guess I can pop it. If I ever get hit, I can just pop a temperance machine and hope that it plays out. I guess that's one thing I can do. You want to give me a battery? You do. Very nice. I do want to make sure I actually don't pick up that battery just yet. There we go. Let's take out the mega fatties. I really don't need that much more damage, but I'm going to keep going for it. I know this prop toast is out there somewhere. All right, what do we have? Dad's key? Will do, sir. Will do. We'll go ahead and take the body for the unlock and the safety. And I guess I'll touch Isaac's tears, even though it's a really terrible item. I don't know if I've taken tech one. I might just take that. Oh, that, there's, there's, there's another instance where... Having Isaac's heart deals damage because we have Isaac's heart. Which is unfortunate, but hey. And I guess I should have played out that, uh, that prayer card. That would have given me another heart there. Alright. If no idea how much health left I have. Hey, 99 bombs. Ooh, now do I uh, do I take that or do I throw the roll into the secret room pool? I think I'll roll it into the three items there and just take the 99 bombs. I'm better off putting the roll into an item. Yeah. I'm better off throwing the roll into there and maybe we can find some more random items. As opposed to maybe finding a secret room item. Because there's no guarantee of that. How about you drop me a battery? No? Alright. Well, fine then. What's in here? Hey, we ended up making the heart anyway. Well, isn't that convenient? Let's see if I can get two rolls before I go in there. That would be nice, but I don't think we're going to have enough rooms to do that. Maybe. Depends on how many of them are empty. Or just don't link up. We're going to need a few more. Uh, lipstick there. Don't need that. I need one more room or I'm not going to be able to get a charge here. Ah, I'm not going to be able to get a charge, unfortunately. Oh, well. What's this card? World? That's not going to do anything for me. All right, well, let's go reroll the three items. Then we'll go... Actually, no, wait, no. No. Forgot. We can go kill Blue Baby. Right. 
Let's go kill him real fast. Yeah. Let's go ahead and kill Blue Baby real quick. Literally. There we go. There's our two charges. And now we can go double reroll our items and end with Mega Satan. Overall, a pretty nice run, I gotta say. Usually with the D6, you can force a bunch of items that you want. Well, isn't that just a slap in the face? The blank card. I would definitely like to use that with some items, but unfortunately don't have uh, the items that I need in order to abuse that. And one last reroll. All right. X-Ray Vision and Dead Bird. We've already touched Libra, so never again. And it looks like it will be a victory with the Isaac's Heart. So that's not too bad. I don't foresee myself taking a ton of damage here. Especially not with this. This is probably the worst thing to try and fight. All right. I, I believe that's Celtic Cross. Procking. Yeah, it was. It was good old Celtic Cross. That's fine. And hey, I didn't even have to fight the angels. Bye-bye. I still have no idea how much health I have left. But hey, whatever. Can I have death by dry baby? Oh well. Oh well. That's going to be the end of the video, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Made a little bit of progress towards our shop. Unlocked or touched a few of those items that we unlocked. It's a loss. We have a victory with the Isaac's heart. I no longer need to touch the Isaac's heart ever again. So I'm not going to. And uh, yeah, that'll be everything. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit the like button. And don't forget to subscribe for future ones. And I will catch you all in the next one, everybody.